Hey guys, Shane here, CryptoFish YouTube channel. So I thought I'd do a little tour of my mining rigs in my house, where they're at. I know I tell you all they're in a lounge or in my office, so do a little walkthrough and I'll show you uh, where everything's at, what it's doing, and how that NVIDIA rig is doing. Now it's on SMOS. See you in a bit. Hey guys, Shane here, CryptoFish YouTube channel. Real quick before we go on, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell icon below. I have something called Bitcoin Fridays, where I give away Bitcoin every Friday. So you want to be notified of that. So the easiest way, subscribe, hit that bell icon. So every, every, um, every week when I give away Bitcoin on Fridays, you'll be able to enter to win. All right, just do that real quick before we go on. All right, so this is my office area, and that's where my AMD rig is at. So whenever I say I got it in the office, that's what I'm talking about. Here's my AMD rig, still only got the five going. Um, the 1560 is sitting over here right there, doing nothing. These are all the boxes from all the stuff I've got. My wife's not too happy about, but... She'll get over it, I guess. All right, so yeah, this is where the AMD rig is at. Let's check this out real quick. This is SMOS. I did have some problems with that third card, which I think it's a riser. But, you know, we'll just jump in a bit. It's still seeing three cards right now. I just rebooted earlier, and it's doing 1,051 sols right now. So my view from looking out my office, the pool, backyard, neighbor's house, dead bushes in the corner from the freeze over the winter time. Alright, so walking through now, kind of like a formal dining area, kitchen, walking through here, this is the actual formal dining area that we turn into what I call the lounge. This is basically where the fellas come in, my boys, and play their video games. But, on top of the messy bookshelf, I have my NVIDIA rig. So, there's the 1070 if it will focus, 1070 Ti, 1063 gig, and up top here 1060 gigabyte 6 gig so I finally got this thing working and I let it start to run last night but I was having issues with this GPU on the riser which actually at one point I thought it was just this card so I took this card off of the riser and put it directly on the board to make sure that wasn't a problem which it wasn't so sometimes last night, the card on a riser, which is the 6 gig, dropped off. So I don't have a spare riser bottom, but I did have a spare riser cable and a connection that goes into the actual board. So I just replaced that this morning, so I want to see how that goes and if it holds up. Otherwise, I'll have to get some more risers. I'll have to get some eventually, but not right now, hopefully. Two, I also had to take... This 1070, um, actually, the, this card was right here in that long PCI slot, but it was just too close, and this 10, 10, um, 70 card was running at like 100% fan. You can probably hear it right now. It's running at about, I think, what I saw earlier, about 80-something percent now, so at least it's not 100%. I don't really want them running 100% fans. But that's that. Should be running all right now. I tell you what, this blower card, they weren't kidding, it blows a lot of heat off the front of it. The 3 gig blows it up top. And this 6 gig doesn't really seem to blow too much off. But anyways, that's the short little tour, guys. Um, we'll hop in here in a sec, check out the stats. 
and um, we'll go from there. All right, guys. See you in a bit. Okay, forgot to show you guys one thing. I did get that TP link in, and it's sitting right there. This is inside this little, I don't know what my wife calls it, but it's a place to hold the TV, whatever it is. Anyways, this is the TP link. Plugs into the power strip. You can see it back here. And you basically just hit this little button here. First you hit a button on the other one, which is in the other room. Then you hit the button here and it'll sync up. And it gives you a LAN connection over the power, which it goes around here. Obviously plugs right in there. So I just thought I'd show you that real quick. It works great. Anyways, see you in a bit. Check the numbers out. Bye. Alright, so we just got done doing my mining farm tour and looking at my Equihash mining rig and my AMD slash Ethereum mining rig. So let's jump in and see what the numbers look like on those. Let's pull up the spreadsheet here. So AMD rig is right here. Numbers 580 is doing about $1.75 a day. Uh, the Nitro is doing $1.43 a day. That's the 570. And the 3560s that are working are all doing about 71 cents a day. The good news is the NVIDIA rig right here. Um, I finally got that 6 gig working, which you saw in the video. Um, going to post numbers on that in a bit. It's only been really not, not even 12 hours because... Actually, this morning when I got done making that uh, mining farm tour video for you all, um, power went out, so I had to go back home and reboot both rigs. Anyways, it's doing 277 souls on the 3 gig, 302 on the 6 gig, and the 1070 Ti is doing 464, roughly. Uh, so far this week, we're at $33.71. Um... Mining Ethereum and mining the Equihash algorithm, which is three or four coins, and I'm converting all that to Bitcoin on Mining Pool Hub. So right now, it's $4.82 a day. Just uh, for reference, every week I start over again, so this number drops down to zero. So as the week goes on, um, that number climbs. So this Thursday at 10 o'clock is when I'll finalize the numbers. That'll be a final uh, full seven days. And that should get up to seven, seven fifty, maybe eight bucks. So last week it was seven dollars. Week prior, seven dollars thirty six cents. So I'm hoping, although these rigs were down for a little bit this week, especially this one with me fooling around with it. So may not quite get to eight dollars, but it should get over seven dollars. Uh, let's go check out. Like I said, here's mining pool hub. Um, mining Ethereum, everything's converted to Bitcoin. I got 0 0.0020 Bitcoin in there. When it goes to 0 0.0025, it'll cash out. So here are the three Equihash coins that are mining right now. It actually switches between the most profitable at any given time. That's why you see three right here. So that's that. Here's simple mining. Uh, let me refresh this. Make sure the rigs are still up. And they are. So, one thing with this NVIDIA rig, I had to move. I had to move those GPUs around to give it some space between them, especially the 1070 Ti. I couldn't have anything really right next to it. So, GPU zero is the 1070 Ti. GPU one is the 1066 gig, and GPU two is the three gig. So. GPU um, one is actually on a riser right now, so it's giving me space between the two cards that are on the motherboard. So, in any event, should be good going forward, I'm hoping. Um, it's been up now for 6 hours, 15 minutes since the last time I um, powered it on this morning after the power loss. So, hopefully it's all as well. 104.5 mega hash on the the Ethereum mining rig, the AMD rig. Um, I'm hoping I can get this card up and running. I need to get an M.2 um, adapter for the motherboard. 
because one of the PCI, PCIe slots is bad. So I'm hoping that'll work and I can get that card up and running and that'll give me another 71 cents a day, roughly. So, all in all, I hope uh, everything pans out. Um, I'll definitely let you all know. Um, just wondering real quick. I wonder if that thing just dropped live on air. No, nope, there it is. 1,047 souls total for that uh, NVIDIA rig, Mining Equihash, between the three cards. Yeah, see that 187% fan, 69 degrees? Last night when I was messing with it, which is why I had to move them, that, was, that fan was at 100%. So I really didn't like the fact that I had a fan running 100% all the time. So I did some finagling, did some moving. Now I got the temperatures down, the fan speed, that's about as high as I've seen at 87%. So they're staying 70 or below, and that's fine. Anyways, guys, um, I guess that's going to be it for the uh, mining farm tour and the Equihash um, mining rig and the Ethereum mining rig tour. I hope you all like that little tour. Um, but again, if you guys are new here, be sure to hit that notification bell and subscribe to the channel. If you guys have any questions or comments, put them down below. I always get back to them, at least I try. Um, if you like the video, be sure to hit that like button. I appreciate it. It helps the channel out. And um, with that, I guess I will see you all tomorrow where we'll have our enter to win video for Bitcoin Fridays. All right, guys? You all take care. Have a good day. Bye.